Hi guys, welcome to Android Guider. So in this video, we will be talking about the new features introduced in Android Audio 8.0. Uh, so to begin with, the most uh, basic and uh, fundamental change is the Android version itself. It's 8.0.0 uh, .0 now. And when you will tap multiple times on the Android version, uh, you will be getting this uh, Oreo Easter egg. And when you long press on this Oreo Easter egg, and you might have to do this a couple of times, you will get this uh, uh, octopus. Uh, this is uh, this animated octopus. Um, um, if you will just let it uh, stay as it is it will float around on your screen or else you can uh, even uh, drag it wherever you want to uh, so these are the two new easter eggs uh, in the in oreo and uh, uh, i'm recording this video on a xiaomi mi a1 and this one got its uh, Oreo update just two, two days back it was on the 31st of December and it's the it's the 2nd of January today I'm um, so a very happy new year to all of you uh, I'm I'm a late I'm a day late though but uh, still I wish you guys a great year ahead um, yeah so to uh, cover up all the changes introduced in Oreo I have uh, uh, compiled a set of notes so this, these they will help me in uh, ensuring that I don't miss out on anything and uh, at the same time they will uh, make sure that this video is to the point and doesn't get too long uh, so to begin with uh, we have got uh, uh, new animations uh, while uh, pulling down the notification panel so as you can see currently I've got a couple of uh, notifications in here um, and uh, when I will pull down the notification panel you will see this uh, new animation which we have currently uh, you can see that all the uh, the apps which uh, all the apps which I have got notifications from they are aligned in a row and when I pull down uh, you will see that uh, the uh, the app uh, icon get uh, it uh, goes away from that row and uh, then we get that notification and uh, there is this uh, new uh, quick setting tile in Oreo of uh, Windows animation scale what this does is it uh, when you tap on it it will uh, slow down the uh, window and it will slow down the animation sp speed to uh, to 10 times so that will allow you to uh, see these animations in slow motion in real time um, so I'll just uh, do that uh, swipe down the notification panel once again and now you guys can see that animation uh, in slow motion and uh, similarly when I uh, close the notification uh, panel you will be getting that animation as well uh, once again I'll just quickly expand it and uh, okay I'll just swipe that up I just want you guys to uh, see that uh, uh, see the animations in the quick settings panel as well so you can see that uh, the date is getting pushed out and the alarm and all the rest of the other icons are taking in their place in the quick settings panel and uh, now I'll just disable this animation. So I'll be covering up later on on uh, how you can enable this window animation scale uh, toggle. Uh, that's down there in the developer options. We will be covering that later on. So these are the set of new animations which we have in Oreo. Uh, next up, we have got uh, notification dots and uh, some changes to the user interface of app shortcuts. So what notification dots are, uh, they basically alert you when uh, you have a notification from an app. Uh, so currently, as you might have seen, uh, I have a notification from Gmail and I have got a notification from the Google Play Store uh, and uh, now when you will uh, look at the icons of Gmail and the Google Play Store on the home screen uh, the Gmail icon and the Play Store icon you will see that uh, they have this they have these uh, colored dots in their top right corners and uh, uh, the color of these uh, notification dots uh, that is uh, uh, extracted from uh, the color of the app icon and uh, uh, when you long press on uh, uh, on uh, on the app icon with a notification dot you will be able to see uh, the notifications which that app has similarly you will be able to see the notifications i have from gmail and uh, you can dismiss these notifications from in here and when you will uh, dismiss a notification from uh, uh, from the from the notifications uh, from the notification dots uh, you will be able uh, the notifications will be dismissed from the notification panel as well uh, so very quickly i'll just uh, swipe up swipe off this uh, uh, Play Store notification and now when you see uh, the Play Store no notification has been dismissed from the notification panel as well uh, similarly um, you know I've got uh, uh, five notifications uh, from Gmail I can uh, either uh, tap on the notification to access it or uh, to view it or I can simply swipe it away and uh, another thing guys uh, if uh, uh, in uh, we had this uh, new feature in uh, nougat of bundled notifications and if you want to uh, and that feature has been carried over in oreo as well so if you want to expand on any of your notifications all you have to do is uh, just uh, uh, 
just press on that notification for a while and then just simply drag it down and then if you want to uh, further uh, expand on any other on any of the other um, uh, sub notifications uh, you know or any i guess the sub notifications is the right word yeah so if you want to expand from any other um, from uh, if you want to expand any other notification then again just uh, uh, press on that for a while and just drag it down uh, similarly you know just press on that notification for a while and just drag it down or you can you know even use two of your fingers if you want to uh, just uh, well I guess okay um, another thing uh, which I would like you to note is that uh, if you will uh, press and hold on a notification for a little longer for a uh, for a long period of period of time um, I will uh, once again do that if you press on a notification for a long while or for a long time uh, then you will be getting this advanced layout uh, wherein you will be getting these options whether you want to uh, show messages from that app and you know uh, there is this uh, new thing of notification channels as well I will talk about that in a second uh, but uh, uh, for the time being I just want to show you guys that uh, you know if you long press on uh, uh, well uh, this has notification uh, channels as well okay so i will just uh, talk about notification uh, channels in a bit but uh, for the timing just know that uh, you uh, to expand a notification you don't have to long press uh, you don't have to uh, press and hold that or uh, press and hold that press and hold on that notification for long otherwise you will be getting that uh, this advanced menu uh, let's call it that for a second um, i will be talking about notification channels just as i told you um, uh, and uh, uh, when you want to expand on a notification all you have to do is just press and hold on it and then just uh, drag it down okay or you know as i told you you can use two of your fingers uh, that works um, so that you know if you if you are not able to uh, uh, if you're not able to expand the notification with just one of your fingers use two of them so uh, it happens with me sometimes as well that i'm not able to expand it using just uh, one of my fingers so i use two of them uh yeah so i either you can use one of your fingers if you're fine with that or you know just use uh, the two of them yeah uh, so uh, that's all what we have uh, uh, with the uh, notification dots and uh, uh, another thing which i wanted to talk about uh, were uh, were the uh, were the new uh, app shortcuts uh, user interface so uh, in nougat previously uh, what we had was uh, that uh, the app shortcuts uh, this compose window and the email id you see above that previously both of uh, them were spaced out and uh, now uh, uh, they, uh, these two have been combined and there is no spacing between them additionally uh, you can also uh, when you will uh, you will also get you can access the app info uh, uh, you can access the app info from the app shortcut and you can also view the widgets now uh, which the app has to offer so these are the two new uh, uh, things uh, these are the only uh, you know i think these are the uh, two new uh, changes to the user interface of uh, app shortcuts uh, next up we have got uh, uh, colored media notifications and uh, guys this is my favorite feature in audio so what this allows you to do is what this does is it will uh, color uh, the background of uh, any media playing notification um so let's say i want to uh, pull out uh, wink i guess i did keep that somewhere okay i guess i have uh, uninstalled wink yeah oh sorry there it is yeah okay um um yeah so what i will do is i will just quickly uh play a track from wink and i'll just uh, pull down the volume yeah so now when i will uh, uh drag down the quick settings panel you can see that uh, the uh, media playing notification uh the media playing notification is colored uh, so there's this new thing in audio uh it will apply it will uh, uh, extract the it will extract a color from the uh, album art and it will set that as the background color of the media playing notification and uh, when i switch songs as well you can again see that uh, uh, the uh, the the background color of the notification is changing as per the album art uh, so this is a really very nice feature which i like and uh, uh, you will really enjoy it uh, if you uh, you know on the lock screen when you have the when you have only the album art showing up and uh, along with the along with the media playing notification it really looks cool uh, you know in uh, when you are uh, viewing uh, uh, that colored notification along with the album art on the lock screen uh, so this is uh, one of those other changes which we have in audio and as i told you uh, this is uh, one of my favorite features uh, 
and uh, uh, google uh, google uh, has uh, stated in its uh, 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 you know there is this uh, uh, google has uh, stated in uh, you know this is uh, for uh, for an app to implement uh, uh, colored media controls uh, this media uh, the, the colored notifications cannot be implemented by each and every app uh, google has specifically has specified that uh, colored notification have to be implemented only if uh, the attention of uh, uh, the user ha has to be attracted to uh, to something that is uh, changing constantly uh, so you know like media uh, when you are uh, playing music tracks uh, that is one of those events so not all uh, applications will uh, uh, will be having colored media notifications or oh, you know it's mainly going to be when you are uh, uh, playing uh, when you are playing uh, a media uh, you know when you are uh, uh, consuming some media playing a music track or while when you are watching a video so uh, don't expect uh, colored notifications from all apps uh, this will uh, this will most probably be limited to only uh, music players and uh, other uh, media applications um and uh, another thing is that uh, uh, that uh, the colored media notifications currently uh, they the apps which i can confirm you they work with are uh, google play music they work with wink as you just saw and they work with spotify as well and if you happen to use power amp uh, then i'm uh, sorry to tell you that uh, uh, currently at the time of recording this video uh, uh, the media uh, the notifications of power amp they aren't uh, colored uh, they don't have those colored backgrounds uh, so i think uh, uh, the uh, the the app developers they have to update their apps uh, so that uh, they can uh, utilize uh, the colored notifications in oreo but uh, for the time being uh, power amp is not able to uh, is doesn't have a colored media uh, notification so that's all what we have in colored media notification now notification channels uh, so yeah uh, what uh, notification channels are uh, these are uh, uh, what they allow you to do is uh, they are uh, you can understand uh, consider them as uh, notification categories um so uh, let's say i will uh, um i will uh, pull up youtube and i will uh, open up its uh, app info page we'll go into app notifications and now you can see this uh, categories uh, uh, category sub menu in here and uh, uh, these are what notification channels are uh, they are simply notification categories so uh, the so uh, the intention of uh, with which uh, google uh, introduced notification channels was to hand over to the hand over the users the control on uh, how they wish to see uh, how they wish to see their notifications uh, now what i mean by that is uh, previously in uh, previous versions of android uh, the app developers they got to uh, set on uh, how a notification must behave on uh, you know on uh, how uh, how a user should be alerted about a notification um so say uh, previously um uh, in um, youtube when uh, when you used to save a video offline you had a notification uh, you had a notification and uh, you know you couldn't really configure on uh, how uh, that notification should behave um i mean uh, let's say that you saved a video offline and uh, or you are uh, subscribed to some channel uh, and you have got that notification bell turned on so whenever uh, whenever a, a new channel whenever there is a new video out from that channel you will get a notification and uh, similarly when uh, you want to download a, a video when you save a video offline on youtube uh, you will be getting a notification then as well so uh, what if i don't want to uh, don't want to uh, have a notification whenever my video whenever i uh, save a video offline so uh, previously i didn't have any control over that uh, or in fact uh, in uh, nougat we had that option of uh, completely uh, turning off notifications for an app but there was no bifurcation in those notifications so i really didn't have a uh, much uh, more control uh, and what oreo does is it gives you that extra bit of control it takes that extra control from the app developer it allows the app developer to uh, you know to categorize the notifications and then it hands that control over to the user on how they want uh, the notifications to behave uh, so if i don't want to see uh, any uh, download notifications i can just simply toggle them off and i won't be seeing any download notifications but at the same time now uh, when i uh, get that uh, whenever that new video is uploaded on uh, from my uh, from the youtube channel i'm subscribed to i will be getting that notification and additionally i can uh, configure uh, uh, other a uh, lot uh, you know i I, I can't just i can not only enable or disable that notification i can uh, configure its importance uh, high make sound low medium urgent uh, you know i can set that importance then i can uh, select whether or not to have the notification dot whether or not to blink the notification led on the uh, 
on on my device uh, how should the notification show up on the lock screen should it override the do not disturb mode and then you can access the additional settings in the youtube app uh, so these are what uh, uh, notification channels are and guys these are uh, this is a very useful feature but uh, currently only a limited number of apps uh, support notification channels all google apps out there uh, they support notification channels uh, but uh, uh, popular apps like uh, whatsapp and uh, uh, telegram uh, they currently don't support uh, notification channels uh, and uh, uh, this is this will just be slightly be a bit uh, uh, off topic uh, that uh, one of those uh, probable implementations which uh, in which uh, uh, using with uh, uh, using which whatsapp can imply notification channels are probably that uh, they can uh, 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 you know if you are a part of uh, multiple groups groups on uh, uh, whatsapp then uh, what uh, the whatsapp developers can do is they can uh, uh, categorize notifications uh, into different groups and uh, then give you over uh, hand you over that control on uh, uh, the notifications uh, that you want to see in the notifications panel if you don't want to see notifications from a particular group you can simply just disable them and if you want to see notifications from some of the groups you know you can just keep them enabled so that can be one of those possible implementations uh, but uh, we are yet to see uh, many apps uh, adapt uh, you know uh, incorporate uh, notification channels into their apps uh, so this is uh, still going to be uh, somewhere in the future that we uh, see app developers are uh, taking up uh, uh, notification channels and implementing them in uh, in you know uh, impl imp uh, implementing them in a creative way so there are a lot of uh, uh, you know if this is uh, if this feature is implemented uh, uh, efficiently then uh, this can be one of those uh, standout features in uh, android over ios uh, i guess uh, if you don't know then uh, notifications in ios are really messed up in fact those guys don't even have bundled notifications uh, yeah, so uh, this is one of those another uh, great features which uh, Google has introduced in Oreo and uh, lastly uh, we have got this uh, uh, notification snooze feature so I'll just slide down and uh, now if I want to uh, snooze a notification I can do that uh, now to snooze a notification all you have to do is just simply uh, swipe uh, the swipe the notification you want to snooze just slowly swipe back to the right or you all or also what you can do is just slowly swipe that to the left and you will get the snooze button tap on that snooze button and uh, it will snooze the notification by default for one hour you can change that time limit to 15 minutes 30 minutes two hours and uh, you you know the one hour limit is already set so you can configure that timeout um uh, so this is what notification snooze is and uh, lastly before i forget um uh, i would uh, like to show you guys a way to uh, uh, disable notification dots as well so to do that uh, all you have to do is uh, head over to apps and notifications uh, click on notifications and from in here you can um, disable notification dots uh, for all the apps if you want to and uh, specifically if you want to uh, do that for a particular app you can just uh, you know head over to that app uh, and from in there you will be getting that uh, you can pull up the app info app notification section and just simply disable notification dots for that uh yeah so uh that's it uh that's what we have in uh, uh that's those are all the changes in uh, notifications for oreo 8.0 uh next up we have got uh, smart text selection and a bunch of new emojis uh so to talk about that i have uh, created uh, this uh, you know this uh, uh, i have created this ad uh, i have copy paste pasted this address and a couple of phone numbers uh, so uh, what uh, um, what uh, smart text selection allows you to do is uh, when you will uh, um, long select any text you know it will give you those extra options of uh, uh, either calling the number you know uh, when i will uh, select a phone number it will automatically give me the option of uh, uh, calling that number so when i click on phone and you know when i select uh, the phone application it will uh, offer me an option uh, it will give me an option to call it or uh, you know when i select an address uh, it will uh, uh, show me the it will show me the option of uh, getting directions to that place uh, so this is what uh, smart uh, text selection is and additionally uh, another thing uh, where uh, google uh, has improvised on uh, uh, selecting the text uh, to, to be copied uh, is that uh, say if i select the word new it will automatically uh, select delhi next to it because uh, you know if i'm going to copy new it uh, uh, google automatically uh, recognizes that uh, i will be copying uh, i will be selecting delhi as well and uh, what it does is it selects that as well so this is what smart uh, text selection is and uh, similarly if i select the word metro it will select station next to it but uh, you know there is this feature miss missing uh, that uh, i would uh, you know if 
what I would be doing is in most of the cases, if I have copied down a address somewhere, I will be selecting uh, the entire address and not just specific portions of the address. So uh, I think this, you know, I would what I would like to see is uh, uh, Google, uh, you know, offering uh, selecting the entire address automatically. But you know, uh, maybe uh, uh, maybe this feature will be polished in the future. But uh, currently, uh, the smart text selection does work, and but it you know it's still not that uh, uh, polished because as I told you I would like the entire address to be selected but uh, that's as you can see is not happening right now and uh, similarly if you want to uh, uh, select a text or the another way of selecting the text is uh, that you can simply double tap on a word and it will uh, uh, you know uh, use smart selection and select the desired text uh, so that's what we have in uh, smart text selections and uh, there are a bunch of uh, new emojis too uh, so this is another one of those uh, changes that uh, Google has done from uh, Nougat. In Nougat, we used to have those blob emojis. Google has gotten rid of them right now, uh, from them now, and these are the new set of emojis which we have. Uh, now, the feedback about these emojis was uh, uh, not uh, very impressive. Not not a, a lot of people were happy with it. Uh, uh, most of them were disappointed. But uh, uh, you know. Uh, if you aren't rooted, uh, then uh, you can't really do much about these emojis. Uh, uh, in case you are uh, rooted, then uh, there is a Magisk module which you can uh, install to get the blob emojis back from Nougat. So uh, these are the uh, new set of emojis which we have. Um, you know, you can dive deeper into them. Uh, but uh, for the time being, uh, I can tell you that. Uh, uh, these uh, these are the there are a bunch of new emojis that you can expect to come across um then we have got the picture in picture mode uh, again this is one of those uh, great features introduced in audio uh, now what uh, uh, what the picture in picture mode allows you to do is uh, say suppose i am uh, uh, playing a video in Chrome. Um, uh, this I'm playing a video on daily motion. Now, if I just hit the play button, uh, and uh, if I will now uh, now if I uh, uh, tap on the full screen mode, um, you know it will take me to full screen. And now when I press on the home key, what it will does it will do is it will shrink that window. Uh, the me that uh, full screen window. It will uh, shrink that uh, in the form of a smaller window, which I can drag anywhere across on the screen. Uh, so this is picture in picture mode. Uh, this feature currently works in um, Google Chrome, it works in VLC, Google Maps, um, Google Play Movies and uh, uh, YouTube. But uh, for YouTube, uh, for, uh, uh, for the picture in picture mode to work in YouTube, uh, you must have YouTube Red and uh, YouTube Red is currently only available in the United States and I guess maybe a couple of other countries. Uh, so if you reside in other countries like India, uh, then uh, 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 the picture in picture mode won't work for YouTube, but it will uh, work for uh, applications like Chrome. And uh, even in Chrome, uh, the uh, this won't uh, uh, work on uh, all the applications on all the websites. I mean, uh, this currently uh, works on Daily Motion, but uh, uh, this doesn't work on uh, if you try to uh, access the picture in picture mode uh, for uh, for another app uh, for uh, other websites like uh, YouTube. But there's a workaround for that as well. You know, <laughs> there are workarounds for everything these days. Uh, so I'll just quickly pull up YouTube and uh, I'll request the desktop side. There was this workaround which I came across and I would just like to show you guys. Uh, I don't know whether it uh, whether it still works. Uh, so what we will do is uh, we will just hit the full screen icon now and hit that play button and just press the home key. Okay, uh, so this is what that workaround used to, uh, you know, used to be about uh, when you directly press the home key. I don't think this workaround uh, works anymore, but uh, it used to work uh, before. Um, so as I am telling you what this uh, workaround was about, you used to uh, press that full screen mode uh, in uh, uh, in that, uh, uh, you know, you request the YouTube desktop site and then uh, uh, tap on uh, the uh, full screen mode and then press on the home key and then it would uh, well, it works now. Okay, I guess maybe it wasn't working because of that advertisement. Uh, but uh, you can get picture in picture mode to work on YouTube as well. All you have to do is uh, request for the desktop site, um, tap on the tap on the full screen mode in in the YouTube window, and then tap on the home key, and it will uh, you know show you guys the uh, show you the uh, 
show the video in picture in picture mode uh, so guys yeah uh, that's the picture in picture mode for you and uh, uh, lastly i will just show that to you in google maps as well um you know i just uh, uh, had a uh, uh, kind of uh, i had uh, set directions to you know to just go to a random place and uh, now as you can see i can uh, just drag this uh, uh, picture in picture mode anywhere and uh, uh, while the picture in picture mode is working i can uh, continue to access any other applications from the background you know i can even open up youtube uh, and do whatever i want um you know uh, say i can uh, just uh, uh, open play movies and uh, uh still that uh, uh the application uh, the picture in picture mode i can just simply drag uh, this application anywhere on the screen i want to uh, so this is one of those uh, new features in uh, oreo uh, the picture in picture mode and uh, if i wish to uh, get back to maps i will just simply tap on that application again and then tap on the maximize button and it will uh, take me to maps again now to dismiss uh, this application either you can uh, just simply tap on that cross button or simply just drag it down and dismiss it Uh, so that's the picture in picture mode for you um and uh, next up we have got a couple of optimizations to the multi window mode now as you might know multi window mode uh, was introduced uh, in android uh, with uh, nuget you might have seen uh, multi window mode in um, some um, uh, some versions of uh, uh, samsung's uh, touchways which is now known as uh, grace ux you might have uh, come across uh, multi window in that but uh, multi window was incorporated into uh, stock android or aosp as we call it uh, with the uh, with android nougat and in oreo google has a further uh, refined multi window uh, now what we can do is uh, we can uh, so I'll, uh, you know i will just show you guys multi window how it works uh, so let's say i open up this application volt um, and uh, let's me uh, pick some other application maybe play movies okay uh, so now what i uh, i will do is i will long press on the recent key when i long press on the recent key uh, well okay i have will have to select an application first and then do that so i have uh, currently selected google play movies and now uh, when i uh, long press on the recent key what it will do is it will uh, uh, shrink uh, the google play movies into the upper window and it will allow me to uh, select uh, some other application which i wish to use in uh, uh, split screen uh, and now you can see that uh, this app does not work in the split screen mode uh, there is a workaround for for uh, for to make that app work in uh, uh, in the split screen mode and i was going to talk about developer options later on uh, but i will uh, show you the setting uh, okay okay uh, so okay so this is this feature of force activities to be resizable make all activities regardless for multi window regardless of their manifest values so uh, lastly you saw that volt was not a uh, uh it doesn't used to work in split screen mode but it will work now uh, we will go back to play movies again and long press on the recent key and now when i select volt um well it's still saying that the app does not support uh, the split screen mode um well i will really do not know uh, why it isn't why this thing is isn't uh, working right now uh, but uh, uh, what i can tell you is that you know force activities to be resizable means that uh, uh, make all the activities is that resizable for multi window regardless of their manifest values um guys i'm really not sure why this is working why this is not working right now um but uh, you know this thing should work uh, but again i'm really not sure why it isn't working uh anyways i will uh, still show you guys uh, the multi window mode um, um and uh, the optimizations which uh, google has uh, uh, introduced with it um i will research a bit into this issue on uh, why volt uh, that didn't go into uh, the split screen mode despite enabling that force resizable option under the developer options i will uh, look into that a bit and uh, i will uh, you know definitely uh, put some comment or update the description about it so in case you are watching this video sometime later on then uh, uh, have a do have a look at the description box or the comment section i will definitely have gotten uh, some a bit some update about that uh, yeah so as i was telling you um all you have to do to use multi window mode is to uh, so say if i want to have a uh, google play movies uh, in the upper window uh, and uh, uh, the settings menu uh, just been that so uh, what i will do is i will first go to google play movies and while i am in google play movies i will long press on the recent key and from uh, then i uh, i will uh, select uh, the settings application from the recent application section and now you can see that i can use uh, two values uh, i can use uh, uh, two applications simultaneously 
so this is what uh, uh, the multi window mode is about and uh, uh, how google has refined that from nuget is that uh, now when i tap on the home key uh, previously uh, when i used to tap on the home key uh, google uh, uh, in in android nuget uh, both the uh, multi windows uh, were uh, um, were closed and uh, we just used to have the home screen now when i uh, tap on uh, the home key uh, the app in the upper uh, uh, in the upper window that will shrink up a bit along the top edge of the phone and uh, on the lower edge you will be getting uh, you will get to your home screen and from in there you can either select uh, some some other app uh, so say maybe i just select the calculator app and then it will uh, quickly expand that upper window and uh, uh, you know get that app you just opened into the lower window again when i tap on the home key you can see that uh, the app has shrunk up to the top edge of the phone along the top edge and uh, now when i uh, tap on the recent key uh, it will again allow me to uh, choose the apps which i uh, wish to browse in multi window mode uh, so that's what uh, uh, that's another one of those great things which uh, uh, google has introduced in multi window mode and uh, another quick hack which i would like to uh, talk to you about is uh, that uh, you can even uh, use uh, uh, chrome to you can even make chrome work in multi window mode so i'll just quickly open up uh, you know something okay let's so just google search about some random stuff um yeah and now if i want to uh, get these uh, two tabs in multi window mode what i will do is i will just first select this tab press and hold on the recent key and uh, then from the three dotted menu i will uh, select move to the other window uh, so you can see that uh, now i have got these uh, two tabs in the multi window mode and uh, uh in case you have got uh, some other tabs open then you will be getting a bunch of uh, other uh, options as well um so I'll, again i'll just quickly uh, open two tabs um go to chrome i guess we just lost chrome yeah so i'll just open up a couple of tabs um you know again tap on the plus key um uh, google and uh open another window as well Yeah, so we have got three windows now, and uh, now when I uh, long press on the recent key once again, uh, I will get this option of uh, move to the other window, and from uh, from the top window, uh, you can see that I have got uh, uh, I can select from uh, two tabs, and the third tab has been uh, uh, it has been um, uh, you know that has been taken to the lower window in the split screen mode. So I can you know I guess hope you are uh, I hope you guys are getting on uh, how you can. Uh, uh, use a uh, chrome in multi window mode and how you can uh, uh, select uh, uh, which tab should be in the upper window or the lower window uh, so that's chrome in uh, multi window mode for you um and i will just uh, and uh, also if you wish to uh, expand uh, uh, expand an app from multi window you can just simply long press on that uh, bar or you can just simply uh, you know uh, also slide that slide that off um very quickly again um uh you know if i just slide this bar off you know it will exit the multi window mode uh so uh, that's what uh, mm, uh, that is all uh, that you will uh, that you would have to know about multi window mode uh, next thing is that uh, we have got a bunch of uh, uh, changes in the uh, quick settings panel previously we used to have this 3x3 uh, 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 three grid in oreo and now we have got a 2x3 grid in uh, oh sorry we used to have a 3x3 grid in nugget and now we have the 2x3 grid in oreo and uh, apart from that uh, there are uh, you can uh, long press on the quick setting tiles uh, to access the advanced menu uh, so say if i just want to uh, disable uh, another uh, quick uh, uh, hack which will really help you out is that uh, when you will uh, if you want to disable wifi uh, just simply uh, uh, you know just simple uh, uh, do a simple tap on the on the icon if i uh, on the uh, wifi icon you know when i uh do a simple tap on the wifi icon it will either enable or disable it similarly if i want to wish to if i wish to disable mobile data all i have to do is just do a simple tap on it and it will disable it if you wish to access the advanced uh, menu uh, advanced settings all you have to do is uh, just uh, long press on the long press on the quick settings uh, label and uh, okay i'm sorry uh oh okay uh yeah uh just want to see, let you guys see that okay uh so two things in here guys uh uh if uh, there are uh, you might uh if you uh if you wish to know uh 
you know in uh, for the wi-fi quick setting toggle uh, you can access uh, the advanced uh, layout menu when you will uh, long press on the app icon it will open up uh, uh, the wi-fi section in the settings menu and when you will uh, tap on this uh, uh, tap on the arrow uh, next to uh, the uh, next to uh, the wi-fi ssid it will open up that advanced layout in the quick settings panel and the way you can know whether and uh, whether a quick setting to uh, quick setting tile offers an advanced menu is uh, if it has a if it has this uh, uh, downward arrow next to it so we have this downward arrow in the wi-fi ssid uh, for the wi-fi quick setting toggle and similarly we have this uh, advanced menu for the do not disturb mode and we have that advanced menu for bluetooth as well and yeah these are the two applications which we have the advanced uh, layout option for so uh, this is something that is uh, 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 this is one of those uh, you know uh, extra things uh, uh, one of those small features which uh, you can make use of and uh, uh, that's all what we have in uh, uh, the quick settings panel and obviously there are uh, other user interface enhancements that you can uh, notice over nougat uh, that is that uh, we are now have a grayish background and the quick setting tile icons are all black in color now uh, and then uh, they have uh, uh, moved this uh, pr previously we used to have the uh, we used to have uh, uh, the alarm along with the uh, clock and the date but uh, now uh, you uh, the date is uh, shown next to the battery icon on the top and uh, the multi user switch the uh, pencil icon and the gear icon previously all of them are were located uh, in that uh, in the top bar in here but now these are located at the bottom so these are the couple of other changes which we have and when i tap on the pencil icon uh, we can we only have a limited uh, set of tiles uh, which we get by default uh, uh, there are some uh, third party apps out there on the play store using which uh, you can uh, add on extra apps uh, uh, custom quick setting tiles that is one of those apps if you want to check that out and um, if you want me to do a video on uh, how you can get uh, more uh, quick setting tiles in the panel uh, let me know that in the comment section i would be uh, if i uh, get a couple of responses uh, you know if you guys want if i get a couple of uh, uh, people asking me for that video i will definitely do that as well uh, so that's all what was there in the quick settings panel uh, then uh, next up we have got uh, some new icons for uh, uh, system apps like the settings menu um, so again very quickly you can see that uh, the settings uh, uh, the settings app it has now got uh, it has now got this uh, new circular icon uh, with a turquoise background and uh, uh, I think I, this is the probably the only app which I have noticed with the new background. Uh, the calculator app as well, I guess. Uh, the clock app it, that has also gotten a, a new background. And another new uh, talking about apps, uh, you won't be seeing uh, the download app now. Uh, that has been uh, moved over to uh, you know the downloads app that that is now uh, called as files. And uh, actually, we have got a full fledged uh, file manager in Oreo. Um, Okay, so I will just open this up and I will uh, let you guys see uh, on uh, what all uh, this uh, uh, file manager can do. Uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, you can view text files in it or you can view HTML files as well. Uh, this uh, currently uh, you can't uh, view or uh, file other text files like .doc or uh, .x you know uh, or those uh, spreadsheet files uh, you can't view all that all those files but txt files and html files they do work uh, and then you can uh, sort these by name in ascending or descending order you can change how to view um, how you can uh, uh, how you wish to view the files you can search for something you want to and uh, then you can uh, have create a new window a new folder select all and hide internal storage and another quick hack which i will be telling you about is on how to select files uh, so previously you might be you know uh, you might first uh, select one uh, one file then select the other and then you know uh, so this is a uh, quite a long procedure uh, another quick hack is that uh, what you do is you just uh, long select uh, you just uh, you know uh, uh, select one file and then you just uh, drag it all the way down so uh, that will uh, select uh, that will select everything uh, you know along the way so i guess you are uh, guess you are able to get that hack uh, i hope uh, you guys are able to understand that and uh, uh, lastly uh, you can also uh, move over um, uh, files if you want to uh, 
you know you can uh, select to move to copy to um and uh, if you uh, select on copying a file uh, you know what you will be getting is uh, this uh, or downloads option um then you will have to uh, access this uh, uh, menu from the uh, you will be have to access tap on this three dotted icon or uh, you know you can simply just swipe or uh, swipe to the right from the left edge and then from in there uh, select the internal storage or the external storage wherever you want to copy the file browse the, to the directory where you want to copy or move that file and then just simply uh, copy or paste it there uh yeah uh, so uh, these are uh, a couple of uh, new things which uh, have been uh, uh, have been introduced in Oreo. Uh, there was this uh, the file manager was there in NuGet as well, but uh, as you just saw, it has gotten um, even better in Oreo. Uh, next up, we have got a cleaner settings menu. Um, okay, uh, so you can see that uh, the settings options the settings menu has really gotten short now and uh, they have concised uh, the various menus uh, they have uh, uh, you know previously the settings menu was uh, really cluttered it uh, there were options here and there uh, now they have really concised this and uh, it's now uh, much easier according to google uh, to uh, search for anything you want to uh, although personally i would have i preferred the uh, settings user interface in uh, nougat because uh, you know probably that is something that I got used to but uh, personally that is what I used to prefer but uh, uh, this is uh, something that is new in Oreo they have concised the settings menu uh, so if you are if you want to find uh, some new settings then uh, under network and internet uh, the Wi-Fi settings are present under network and internet now uh, similarly your uh, the Bluetooth settings are present under connected devices previously the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings were uh, they were one after the other uh, but now they have been uh, allotted uh, 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 separate menus and uh, so you know you will just have to uh, work around a bit uh, you will have to search for uh, uh, if you want to find a setting you will have to browse the settings menu for that or simply else you can uh, use the uh, settings menu uh, you can use the search option in the settings menu and uh, the search option by the way that has also uh, gotten some uh, uh, improvements to uh, it uh, now when you will uh, uh, search for uh, anything in the settings menu if i search for google you know it will uh, it will show me the apps which uh, it will uh, the search results in uh, uh, in the settings menu now include uh, application names as well previously that wasn't the case in nougat uh, but this is something that is uh, new in oreo uh, so a couple of uh, other changes you can uh, consider that uh, the search has gotten more advanced with oreo they have google have uh, improved upon uh, search in uh, audio and uh, lastly uh, uh, there was this uh, uh, left uh, there was this uh, you know you could in uh, android nougat uh, you could uh, swipe uh, from the left edge of the screen uh, to pull out uh, to pull out another menu but uh, they have gotten rid of that side menu uh, in oreo you won't be seeing that uh, in oreo uh, so in case you didn't notice that in nougat uh, you know you can just uh, uh, you can just ignore this uh, but uh, there was this uh, uh, there was a side menu which you could uh, access uh, uh, you know that uh, that side menu also uh, only had uh, uh, the various uh, uh, settings menu the settings option which you see in here all those were present in that side menu but uh, that side menu uh, google uh, has gotten rid of that side menu in oreo uh, so cleaner uh, settings menu and no slide uh, you can't uh, you no longer have that uh, slide menu from the left um, next up we have got uh, custom ringtones and notification sounds again uh, one of those uh, uh, features which uh, a lot of uh, people were asking for and google has finally delivered on uh, on the on that feature uh, now what you can do is if you wish to uh, set a custom ringtone you know you do get a bunch of uh, uh, ringtones or notification sounds to choose from but uh, when you will scroll scroll, uh, scroll down to the end uh, you will have this uh, option of adding a ringtone so if you have downloaded some ringtone uh, then you can select that from in here uh, and similarly uh, for notification sounds you have got that app option as well uh, so again uh, this is something uh, which uh, people were asking for a long time and google has uh, finally heard to heard uh, everyone and uh, included that feature in stock android uh, then we have got uh, the system UI tuner. Uh, so this is something uh, which uh, not many of you would know. Now to enable the setting, uh, the system UI tuner, what you have to do is uh, drag down uh, the quick settings panel and long press on the gear icon as I am doing. And once you have uh, long pressed on the 
uh, gear icon you will get this message congrats system UI tuner has been added and then you will scroll down uh, to the system and then you will be able to see the system UI tuner and so and then it will give you this uh, uh, boarding warning system UI tuner gives you extra ways to tweak and customize the Android user interface uh, these experimental features may change break or disappear in future releases proceed with caution I'll just tap on got it and from in here these are a bunch of uh, uh, extra uh, uh, these are a bunch of extra customizations uh, so from uh, say if I just want to uh, in uh, from the status bar settings uh, you can enable or disable any icon which you don't want to uh, show in the uh, status bar if you want to enable or disable any icon from the status bar you can do that from in here uh, so um, let me see um, uh, well uh, currently we have got the alarm clock in the status bar if I just want to disable that I'll simply disable the switch and you can see that we no longer have the uh, alarm clock icon similarly if I just want to hide the Wi-Fi icon as well I can simply tap on that switch and it will disable the Wi-Fi icon when I tap on that Wi-Fi switch again it will show up the uh, it will uh, show the Wi-Fi icon in the status bar similarly you can do that for alarm and then battery percentage if you want to show the battery per percentage show the battery percentage when charging always show the battery percentage you can configure that and you have got some extra settings for the time as well Lastly, uh, we have got the, some settings for the do not disturb mode. If you want to uh, show the do not disturb mode switch with the uh, volume keys, uh, you know, then you can have this uh, do not disturb mode. Uh, you know, although the uh, the do not disturb mode uh, switch is getting cut off, but you know, I think that uh, uh, this feature is still usable. When I disable this, you no longer see that uh, do not disturb mode switch. Uh, so you can uh, customize this uh, as per your choice, uh, you know, the way you want to uh, use uh, your phone, you can configure system UI tuner as well. Uh, then next up, uh, the unknown sources option is gone. Uh, uh, Google has uh, 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 disabled, uh, you know, you can still obviously install APK files uh, from third party sources, but uh, the unknown sources option as a whole that is gone. Uh, now, uh, how we will be installing APK files is, I will, uh, you know, quickly just uh, search for an APK file, just quickly download an APK. And I'll go to Telegram and I will search for the APK file of Telegram. And, you know, uh, uh, I usually download APK files from uh, APK Mirror. So yeah, here we are. Um, open up APK Mirror and then just you know select telegrams 4.7.0 um, and uh, pick uh, uh, I'll select this Android 6.0 plus with no DPI and then I'll just simply hit the download APK option so this will just uh, 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 take a while to uh, get downloaded um, yeah so I'll tap on OK and you know it shouldn't take much time to get downloaded Okay, so now the file has gotten downloaded. I will simply tap on open. And now uh, when you try to install an APK file, you will get the setting for your security. Your phone is not allowed to install unknown apps from the source. Now uh, to work, uh, you know, to get around this, simply tap on that settings menu and just select on allow from the source. Uh, so when you have selected allow from the source, it will uh, allow you to install Telegram uh, from, uh, you know so uh, what uh, uh, that thing uh, what that option allows us to do is when we uh, enable that option is that uh, whenever we download any apk files from chrome and then when we uh, tap on the open option uh, we will be able to uh, install uh, uh, all the apk files which are downloaded from chrome if you uh, download them from some other browser uh, then you will have to enable that option uh, of uh, of installing apps from third party sources for that browser as well uh, so these are a couple of other things you know which are there in uh, oreo and uh, uh, i will quickly go uh, to the uh, to the file manager in here and uh, uh, Okay, yeah. So this is the files manager which we have. You can you could have also accessed this uh, file manager by clicking on that files option directly. You know, I will I have just taken the longer route and uh, accessed it from the storage manager. Yeah. Uh, so now when I will go to uh, MIA one, um, you know, firstly I will just quickly uninstall. Okay, I didn't install Telegram. Yeah. Uh, so when I go to the uh, download section right in here, and now when I tap on uh, 
telegram uh, it will show me that your phone and personal data are more vulner vulnerable to attack by unknown apps by installing this app you agree that you are responsible for any damage to your phone or loss of that data that may result from its use just tap on continue and then it will uh, allow you to install apk files so uh, if you are using any uh, file manager then uh, then maybe you you would have to uh, you might have to enable that option but uh, if you are using the inbuilt uh, file manager in google chrome you will just be getting that continue you will just have to tap on that continue button uh, every time you try to install an apk file so you know just keep that in mind and uh, yeah uh, that's the uh, that's what we have in unknown sources and uh, by the way i'll just show you guys uh, that uh, if you want to uh, disable uh, that uh, uh, that unknown source option for any app you can do that too uh, let's go to chrome and you know under advanced option you can see that picture in picture mode uh, that is allowed so if you want to disable picture in picture mode you can do that too from in here and uh, if you wish to disable unknown apps for this uh, for chrome just simply toggle this option off uh, yeah and app notifications we have already uh, seen that uh, allow notification dots you can turn them off and uh, notification uh, we have uh, uh, some uh, you know uh, notification options for google chrome as well you can check them out and uh, there are some uh, uh, you know uh, there are some uh, uh, user interface changes in here as well if i will uh, you know if i just wish to uh, uh, if i access the storage option now um, in fact uh, let me open up some other app some third party app uh, now when i access the storage option you know it, uh, we have got these clear data and clear cache buttons previously they were located somewhere uh, down here you know uh, in nougat and in uh, previous versions of android but now google has uh, in oreo we have these buttons all the way to the top clear data and clear cache so you know there are user interface changes uh, here and here and there but uh, uh, for the purpose of this video i'm just sticking to the majority of the changes which we have um and also guys uh another thing was that uh, we, we now have a progress bar in the in the package installer uh, again very quickly i'll uh, simply just go to uh, telegram continue and when i hit install this time you will see that we have got this progress bar which actually shows uh, in previous version of android you know we had that uh that animation which will uh, keep going back and forth that uh, we had that slider going in uh, you know going back and forth back and forth back and forth but now in oreo we have a got a proper we have got a proper uh, progress bar uh, and you know again as you just saw you will have to uh, uh, whenever you want to install an apk file you will have to click on that continue button okay um next up we have got uh, some changes to the battery uh you know to the uh, to the battery screen um uh, when you will open up the battery screen now uh, the battery statistics screen uh, that is entirely changed uh, google has uh, completely uh, revamped uh, the battery usage uh, settings if you want to uh, view the advanced if you want to view that battery graph you will have to uh, tap on the battery icon and then it will show you that advanced uh, layout and uh, what it will do is it will uh, do a breakdown since the last full charge apps 17 percent used by uh, this particular application uh, system applications used this much user phone idle wi-fi bluetooth mobile network standby and uh, previously uh, when you used to uh, tap on uh, some particular apps what it used to do was uh, you know if i used to tap on wi-fi it used to show me the number of uh, data packets that have been sent received and uh, the battery capacity that has been utilized uh, but uh, now in oreo google just shows you the percentage and it doesn't show you those extra bit of settings uh, personally i that is uh, those extra bit of settings i really like to see them but uh, you know google just decided to get rid of them and uh, those settings aren't shown and uh, screen usage since full charge uh, uh, so uh, the majority of the settings which google has highlighted in here are uh, the time since uh, you, the battery was last charged all the way up to 100 percent and uh, uh, the screen usage since the last full charge so they are concentrating on uh, uh, you know these are the uh, two uh, major statistics which uh, google wants to show you and also the uh, how much uh, time uh, uh, it is there is uh, how much uh, battery capacity is uh, approximately left how much uh, battery life is left for your device and then under power manager you can uh, you have this battery saver mode you know you can uh, the maximum percentage at which you can enable the battery saver automatically is 15 percent um 
and then we have got adaptive brightness battery percentage if you want to show that in the status bar again you can enable that or disable that option we also had that option in the system UI tuner as well and then also here in as well we have got app usage since the last full charge again you know everything that you can uh, uh, you can uh, um, you know check uh, everything out and in under the three dotted menu uh, if you tap on show full device usage it will uh, show you uh, the screen usage android system android os you know phone idle and now when you long tap uh, on this it will uh, show you while in active use while in background battery usage and uh, then a uh, battery optimization whether or not you want to optimize uh, you know include that app under battery optimization uh, Again, if you haven't noted, no, noticed this, then uh, uh, certain apps are uh, not uh, optimized uh, for battery life. Uh, this uh, includes uh, Google Play services and uh, uh, similar apps. Um, if I select on all apps, most of the applications are optimized for uh, battery usage. What this means is that uh, uh, these applications, uh, uh, they won't, uh, they will, uh, uh, you know, uh, they, uh, they will have to, uh, they won't uh, allow uh, uh, they won't keep the device awake and uh, uh, when uh, non, uh, non, uh, when uh, you know uh, there is this uh, new thing which was introduced with nougat uh, that is called the dose mode so what dose mode does is it puts your device into a low powered state uh, that is the deep sleep mode which uh, prevents a uh, battery which prevents battery drain when the phone is idle or when it is not being used uh, so uh, uh, what uh, you know what this option of optimizing battery use is about is that uh, uh, these applications they will uh, they won't be uh, they won't be exempted from uh, dose mode while uh, applications which are not optimized they are exempted from dose mode uh, so this is what this uh, setting is about and uh, again you can uh, configure whether or not the battery should be optimized for a particular app but uh, uh, you can't uh, simply change uh, settings for some apps you know uh, Google Play services, uh, you won't be getting that option of uh, not optimizing uh, battery optimization not available. So Google has uh, restricted uh, that uh, setting for certain apps, but uh, you know, you can configure battery optimization for most of the apps. Um, yeah, so guys, uh, that's uh, pretty much what we have uh, got under the battery info changes. Then uh, next up, uh, we have got uh, nightlight. Uh, nightlight is now included underneath this display settings for the Xiaomi Mi A1 users. Um, nightlight, you can, uh, you know, uh, set a custom schedule to enable it or set it from, set, enable that from sunset to sunrise. And as you can uh, make out right now, uh, this will actually, you know, that adds a, uh, uh, tints your screen ember this makes it easier to look at your screen or read in dim light and may help you fall asleep more easily and then also you can control the intensity of nightlight uh, so this is something uh, that is a this is a pretty good feature uh, so you can either set it to uh, enable set, set it from sunset to sunrise or you know uh, enable a start and the start and an end time i'll just disable this for the moment um then uh, we have got uh, uh, the search option in settings we already talked about that and now uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, names are uh, randomly generated we call the Wi-Fi hotspot names as uh, Wi-Fi SSIDs so uh, the hotspot option is located under the network and internet settings um, I'll simply just uh, enable mobile data again and uh, set up Wi-Fi hotspot you know it will uh, um, okay I'll just uh, I guess I can uh, reset this uh, if I can somehow reset this okay uh, I'll quickly first up I'll just disable the disable uh, data saver option and uh, well okay guys uh, if you haven't uh, actually uh, set uh, the Wi-Fi SS SSIDs in the past uh, you know uh, if you haven't really uh, set up a uh, uh, set up uh, uh, you know if, if you haven't changed the Wi-Fi hotspot settings then uh, previously uh, the uh, Wi-Fi uh, the uh, name for the Wi-Fi hotspot by default it used to be Android AP but uh, now when you will uh, try to uh, set up a Wi-Fi hotspot uh, in Oreo uh, that will have a different name you know it, it would be something like Android AP 987 or Android AP uh, 642 you know uh, that uh, uh, that number at the end that will be random so uh, uh, the Wi-Fi SSI, the names uh, of the Wi-Fi hotspot uh, in Oreo, they will be completely random. So that is something that is uh, new in Oreo. And uh, 
we will take a look at the developer options but uh, just a quick look at uh, uh, some of the smaller uh, one of from about just a quick look at the other features which we have uh, so now uh, you might have noticed uh, that we have got uh, this these data indicators right now you can see that data indicator next to the wi-fi icon so that means that some data exchange is going on and we have got a similar data indicator for uh, the mobile data as well uh, and uh, lastly uh, there is a change to the calling screen um this is specifically for uh, android me a1 users um you know this change might not be applicable to you uh, but uh, this is something uh, that uh, is applicable for the me a1 users uh, so dial 198 um what i will you know just simply search for that and it will call 198 it will make a call and you know there is this uh, change uh, there is also a, a change uh, to the when i make a call now you can see that uh, the dial screen has been changed um and uh, uh, not only that uh, not only the dial up screen when you uh, uh, when you call um, uh, even when you receive a call there is a change to that screen as well uh, previously you used to swipe to the right to accept or decline a call now you will have to uh, either swipe down or up to you know either accept or dismiss the call so a couple of other you know uh, user tweaks here and there uh, that is what we have got about a uh, calling screen um and then uh, uh, we have got uh, uh, we have got uh, you know i will just quickly uh, uh, sum up this uh, you know i will just talk about uh, the first three uh, the first four points uh, a bit later on but uh, first let's talk about the battery life so i really wrote this uh, text to explain why uh, uh, there is better battery life in android oreo 8.0 uh, better battery life is courtesy of uh, uh, of uh, two factors two background limits uh, which are execution limits and location limits so execution limits will uh, reduce active operations of an app in background while not harming the user experience if uh, so this is what uh, uh, execution limits are um, and you know i think that uh, this is uh, quite explanatory that uh, the active operations of an app which is uh, in the background they will be res restricted but at the same time those restrictions uh, won't be too harsh uh, so as to hamper the user experience and uh, now let's talk about uh, the location limits so if uh, two apps demand access to the location at the same time one app will be the passive listener that is uh, one will get access to the location data and the other app will borrow it background activity can be enforced on older apps targeting lower android versions uh, so um, um, you know there is this uh, setting for that um, uh, if i go into system uh, then when i go to developer options and when you scroll down uh, you will have this uh, option of uh, don't keep activities or uh, destroy every activity as soon as the user leaves it so uh, you know if you just want to destroy activities um, as and when you leave it you can do that and then uh, background process limit you can set that as well and uh, uh, show all in our show app not responding dialog for background apps so you know uh, these are the uh, three settings which can be enabled uh, which you can configure um yeah so i guess uh, uh, it's pretty clear now uh, why uh, uh, there is a better battery life in android oreo and guys i can uh, uh, confirm you uh, this uh, to all the xiaomi mi a1 users out there that uh, uh, the battery life is uh, significantly better in my experience uh, in oreo 8.0 than it was in nougat i am getting better standby times and uh, the even uh, when uh, i am uh, using my phone or uh, you know doing some regular web browsing even then uh, the battery life is considerably better uh, then uh, miscellaneous changes uh, there are some uh, changes to the lock screen font and according to google uh, there uh, there are faster app speeds reboot times and uh, uh, google specifically mentioned during its uh, uh, oreo presentation uh, that uh, app app speeds and reboot times can be up to two two times faster and uh, obviously uh, uh, you know if you will uh, uh, if you have uh, uh, even paid some attention uh, to the boot up times uh, during uh, nougat and oreo then uh, there is uh, a noticeable difference between the two then we have got some a uh, couple of changes to the ambient display and uh, lastly there is this wider color gamut that is available for the uh, third party developers to exploit uh, now what a wider color uh, gamut allows us is that uh, it will uh, uh, allow for uh, 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 it will allow for uh, better display color in apps so you can uh, expect uh, more vibrant colors in um, in games and uh, 
in all the other apps which you use on Android Oreo 8.0 but uh, uh, for that uh, the app developers they have to update their apps and include and make use of that wider color gamut uh, so these were the miscellaneous changes and uh, lastly let's uh, talk about the developer options first up um, you know I haven't uh, uh, I haven't uh, really uh, showed you guys the developer options in detail so first up we have got this uh, uh, firstly uh, the first thing is that uh, to enable developer options you will have to uh, scroll down to the about phone menu and then tap on the build number multiple times and after you have if you are using a secure lock screen uh, then uh, to enable developer options you will have to enter that uh, uh, secure lock screen password or pattern or whatever you are using and only then the developer options will be enabled uh, after the developer options have been enabled uh, you, can, you will be able to uh, uh, you will be able to view them under the system uh, under the system menu and uh, uh, firstly we have got this uh, memory menu wherein you can use uh, see how much ram has been used and you can uh, see those statistics as per 3 hours 6 hours 12 hours one day or whatever you want to and uh, then take bug reports desktop backup uh, backup password you know um, again um yeah this has been quite a long video guys i'm really very sorry for that uh, but uh, okay let's let's uh, you know let's just uh, get over with this first and then uh, i'll say something <laughs> okay yeah uh, then if you want to uh, keep the screen awake while it's charging uh, then you can do that uh, enable a uh, bluetooth hci snoop log you know there are a couple of uh, these extra settings uh, which you may or may not use uh, these are you know particularly for developers uh, who are uh, uh, you know building apps or uh, you know or playing around with stuff uh, this is this isn't for normal users uh, oem unlocking if you are into unlocking blue uh, the bootloaders uh, rooting your device flash flashing custom roms then enable oem unlocking and you can unlock the me a1 with a simple fast boot command if you are into that then running services you can see all the services which are uh, running in the background and how much ram they have uh, they have uh, consumed and how long have they been in the memory show cached processes you know if you are uh, much into uh, seeing all these things uh, then you can do that then uh, automatic system updates uh, system ui demo mode is present in here um, and you know when you tap on show demo mode what it will do is it will uh, uh, set the time to as <coughs> uh, 7 am and uh, the Wi-Fi indicators, network indicators, and the battery capacity—all of them will be uh, will be raised all the way up to 100%. So the demo mode is uh, quite often used for taking pretty screenshots, which you see on those uh, on those Google Play uh, screenshots on the app info pages. That's what uh, uh, the uh, system UI demo mode is for. Then quick setting developer tiles, uh, the window animation scale. Uh, this is where uh, from where wherein you can enable that quick setting tile, and uh, uh, you can also enable a quick setting tile for RTL layout. So uh, the RTL layout this will uh, laterally invert the display. You can try this out. Uh, profile GPU rendering and show out uh, show layout bounds. Again, you can just play around with that. But uh, mostly, I like the window animation scale setting. Uh, then you have got USB debugging. You can set a mock location app if you are, you know, if you play Pokemon Go and if you might want to uh, set a mock location app, then uh, what this will allow you to do is it will allow you to uh, fake your GPS location and if you, you know, and then you can fool uh, uh, a particular app if you want to. Um, uh, so this is where you can select that mock location app. Um, uh, then we have got a couple of settings for mobile data and Wi-Fi uh, and the settings which I wanted to show you are uh, those of uh, uh, the blue dot audio codecs so in audio for the Xiaomi Mi A1 we have got uh, these aptX and aptX HD and LDAC uh, audio codecs uh, now what uh, you know these are these are great technologies aptX HD especially uh, what this will allow you to do is uh, this will uh, uh, highly this will enhance the sound uh, quality uh, if you are if you use Bluetooth headsets or uh, speakers then you will uh, see a noticeable difference in the audio quality which you get over those headsets or speakers so in case uh, you use uh, either some Bluetooth speakers or headphones then make sure you enable aptX or aptX HD it again depends on uh, uh, the Bluetooth speakers, uh, you know, whether the Bluetooth uh, device which you are using, whether that support it, supports it or not. Uh, so in case you want to check that option out, uh, uh, make sure you uh, enable aptX HD and then you can, you know, configure the AVRC <coughs> AVRCP version, um, audio sample rate. Um, again, 
you know if you are really much onto these things you can uh, play around with them but uh, the setting which i would uh, recommend you to enable uh, to change is a uh, bluetooth audio codec rest uh, all you can uh, uh, you know try try stuff out or you can just uh, 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 let the settings stay uh, as they are uh, but uh, the se setting again i has uh, the i will the setting which i will recommend you to change is select the bluetooth audio codec uh, as aptx hd or aptx depending on the uh, depending on the speaker or headphones you use only bluetooth headphones if you are having a if you are using wired headphones then uh, this option uh, wouldn't even um, this option won't uh, change anything then uh, well then we have got the animation settings and uh, if you uh, wish to change the smallest width attribute what this will do is you know this is kind of like uh, changing the uh, display pixel intensity of your device again you can just play around with this uh, I have already you know this video already has gotten quite long uh, so I will just try and make this shorter um, and then uh, lastly force allow apps on the external storage uh, using this you will be able to uh, uh, by default all the apps utilize external store uh, internal storage uh, but if you want to make the applications uh, force the applications to make use of uh, the external storage then you can enable that option yeah guys so uh, I guess uh, that's pretty much uh, it for the developer options and uh, 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 another thing for the Xiaomi Mi A1 users is that uh, in Android Nougat we used to have that uh, gestures option if you might know uh, you know uh, using uh, that uh, gestures option what you could do is uh, uh, in Nougat you could simply do a swipe down uh, the uh, fingerprint scanner and you will uh, you would have uh, gotten into the uh, notifications panel and when you would do another swipe you will be taken to the fixed settings panel and when you did a swipe up it would uh, you know close the notification panel entirely uh, so this was something that was uh, there in nougat but uh, surprisingly uh, i wasn't able to uh, find the gestures feature in oreo and uh, this is uh, quite uh, uh, what should i say funny maybe uh, uh, if you will search for gestures uh, from the uh, from the search option uh, you will find this uh, jump to camera gesture this was there as well in nougat but that swipe down uh, to uh, access the uh, to uh, you know that swipe uh, feature for the fingerprint scanner uh, i it appears that uh, Xiaomi has just completely gotten rid has gotten rid of that for audio I don't know why that is the case but uh, I had that I enabled that uh, feature I had enabled that feature in nougat and that feature is still working and uh, another uh, note uh, on that uh, is that uh, the uh, the uh, swipe to slide down feature uh, the swipe uh, the fingerprint swipe gestures they only work on the administrator account if you have got uh, uh, multiple accounts like me uh, then uh, <laughs> these features won't be uh, so uh, this is my main account which I'm currently using if I uh, uh, select any other account temporary or other then uh, these are the other accounts which I created uh, then uh, the swipe to uh, that swipe fingerprint uh, those fingerprint swipe gestures won't work in uh, any of those other accounts uh, so that is what uh, that is probably one of those it is probably a bug or whether they have gotten rid of that feature entirely I can't tell but uh, the setting for that feature is not there so if you want to use the notification swipe gestures make sure you uh, enable them before upgrading to audio um, lastly uh, there was this uh, uh, there was a couple of reports uh, on uh, uh, several websites reported it we didn't report it that um, uh, with uh, Android Oreo uh, the, uh, the Xiaomi Mi A1 gets support for fast charging uh, but guys I can confirm you that uh, uh, although when you will uh, plug in a charger you know uh, I will just be showing you guys the lock screen um, so let me just get my charger I will plug it in and just turn off the screen and when I turn it back on I have just switched on my charger and now when I plug it in you will be able to see this text uh, charging rapidly uh, previously in uh, nougat this just simply used to uh, show uh, the text charging but now it shows uh, charging rapidly uh, and uh, guys you know uh, and based on this uh, some uh, uh, some uh, there was a report on uh, a telecom talk it's one of uh, quite it is a quite popular blog uh, a tech uh, blog and uh, that blog reported that uh, using uh, the oneplus uh, dash charger uh, there were uh, 
uh, increased charging speeds uh, now i can't i didn't really had uh, have the chance to uh, test out uh, the uh, test out uh, you know charged the my xiaomi mi a1 with uh, a one plus dash charger but uh, with the stock charger there are uh, there is no noticeable difference in the charging speeds it used to take about i think about uh, one and a half hours and it uh, still takes the same time to uh, get this thing up from uh, uh, zero to 100 percent so the charging times haven't uh, changed uh, by much and you know there is no noticeable difference so whether uh, uh, there is support for fast charging uh, in audio uh, with fast chargers like you know the dash charger which oneplus uh, ships on uh, their phones i'm not really sure about that additionally there is a uh, support for themes in uh, audio uh, there is this uh, uh, substratum application you know if you don't know much about uh, substratum uh, then uh, i will be having a couple of uh, articles uh, linked down below in the description box uh, just make sure that you read them uh, basically what substratum allows you to do is it uh, allows you to theme your device and in audio google has uh, uh, included support for native theming and uh, uh, for that uh, to uh, theme your device uh, you will uh, have to make use of your computer uh, you know you will have to make use of adb and then give certain permissions to the uh, substratum application and from there in and from after uh, after that you will be able to uh, completely change the look of your android device you will be able to uh, uh, you know just make you guys uh, see some uh, screenshots uh, that's uh, that's the easier way to uh, show things um so say if i just uh, um i'll just pull out uh, something um okay let me see uh yeah so uh, let's say if we select uh, mono or r themes so you know if, uh, if you want then you can uh, uh, uh make your settings menu appear like this this is how the quick settings panel can look uh this is how the sounds menu can look uh so you know you can even uh currently you can see that uh, the uh, background of the google app is white uh, it's it's a grayish background and then you have got white cards over that so you can uh, make that entire background black and have black cards over it so you know in case you are uh, uh, even excited a bit about uh, on how you can uh, theme uh, your sh uh, your uh, audio device with uh, with substratum then uh, just check out those uh, links i have uh, mentioned down below in the description box um yeah so uh, there is support for theming in audio uh, that's uh, one of those uh, um, enhancements which have been made and lastly uh, there is uh, support for uh, autofill applications uh, uh, there is support for autofill apis now if you are someone who uses uh, applications like lastpass which remember your passwords then uh, with support for autofill uh, you will be quickly be able to enter your passwords you don't have to enter passwords every time you log on to any website uh, so you you will be able to uh, you know uh, uh, using la using those autofill apis uh, when you are uh, visiting a particular application it will automatically enter your uh, uh, your passwords so if uh, you are you, you in if you use lastpass then uh, this is something uh, which is new in android audio autofill is new all your usernames and passwords uh, lastpass remembers them and then it will automatically enter them in audio so uh, Previously, uh, uh, you know, LastPass works on previous Android versions as well, but uh, we didn't have uh, got, but we, in the older Android versions, we didn't have native support for autofill, but in Oreo, we have got support for this in the form of an API. Uh, yeah, I guess, guys, that's finally a wrap up for this video. I think I have uh, covered quite a lot of features, um, and I do hope that I was able to um show you guys on um, uh, the new features in audio and give you guys an idea on uh, uh, maybe how you can uh, use them as well uh again i'm really sorry that this ended out i think we are over an hour but uh, yeah uh, you know the purpose um, the reason why i do these long videos is to give you guys an idea on how you can make use of uh, these new features you know sometimes i see uh, people using their phones and uh, uh, they just don't have uh, knowledge about uh, uh, those small features which they can actually make use of so uh, the reason why i do such long videos is to uh, you know help any of you out there in uh, uh, getting that extra 
uh, in uh, you know just learning that uh, extra tidbit which will uh, help you in uh, using your device in a better way in your daily lives so uh, that's the only reason why i do such long videos you know just to give you guys an idea and uh, uh, you know just to give you guys that in depth knowledge which um, i hope i am able to supply you with uh, yeah uh, so i really uh, hope that i was able to cover up everything um and uh, particularly for the Xiaomi Mi A1 users uh, guys uh, the battery life as i said uh, that's been pretty amazing and uh, uh, the performance and especially uh, i would also uh, mention this about uh, that the ram management uh, that's i think that has gotten a bit better as well uh, previously the apps used to uh, close a bit in the background but uh, uh, now um, uh, earlier in the morning today i have been using for uh, about 2 days now earlier in the morning i uh, you know i i opened an application i kept an i didn't use an application for about 6 or 7 hours and when i opened it back again it was still there in the memory uh, so i guess maybe uh, xiaomi has improved on uh, the memory management a bit as well and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, lastly uh, i will just uh, cut off by saying that um, you might have to uh, you know get used to uh, this uh, concise setting menu so make use of that search option or you know if you just want to access those uh, you know or if you just want to access uh, the settings by going to them specifically uh, then you know just explore the settings menu um yeah guys so um, i guess uh, that's been pretty much it guys uh, uh, thanks for watching um and uh, if you wish to get a notification whenever we upload our future videos through this channel uh, then uh, uh, do hit that subscribe button and in case you like the video um do what this video up and in case you want to get a notification whenever we upload our uh, future videos uh, then subscribe to us i guess i said that already yeah so thanks for watching guys take care have a nice day have a great year ahead and we will catch you guys in the next one